with us shortly. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to not being able to open the tack locker we're in. Welcome back to eventing! Yay! Actually, excited for the day. Whoopsie, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel today because obviously it's quite a big occasion. It's my first event since Bicton. We're not going to talk about that too much, but if you know, you know kind of thing. Haven't had the chance to go cross-country schooling, which is a bit of a worry. So I haven't been cross-country since Bicton. That's not through lack of trying, I want to point out. We've tried to go twice, both times the venues have had to cry off because of the weather. So it's just the way it's ended up, we do have to uh, unfortunately go straight out today having not gone cross country. But it's fine, I'm not going to stress. We've got Hobbit, she's excited. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Full of words. It's actually, it's, is it early? It's fairly early. So excitingly, we have come to Off Churchbury, which you guys will have come to before with us. But I'm actually doing my first ever Cotswold Cup event, which I'm so excited for. So last year, you'll know that I went to the championships just for filming. Um, it was my aim to get there with Dora, but it didn't quite work out like that in the end. So today is the first Cotswold Cup event. Oh, groom has just turned up. Hello, Han. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I just said hello, darling. Look, come and say hi to the, can say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. Hi vlog. She's not actually, she's not mic'd up. Hi vlog. We're too stingy. We've only got two mics, I'm afraid, guys. Um, but yeah, we're doing to this a 90. Talk to this one. And I think that <laughs> no, is pretty much all the information you need to know, guys. We're in a bit, well, actually, we're not too, in too much of a rush. Good girl. We're doing all right, aren't we? We've got over an hour. Well, I don't know. I still think you should get on with it. It's so windy. I am getting on with it. Um, maybe we should go right. the other side we'll of the lorry. We'll talk more about... Um, oh, I don't know. We'll talk more Good in a bit. Girl. I'm going to stud up. I can't, I can't stud and think about what I'm saying. Good girl. So we've got 40 minutes -ish. Oh no, this is definitely running out. <laughs> you are joking. She thinks it's jam. <laughs> it's a jam gum! <laughs> Do jam gum separately? She says, we never know what you guys. <laughs> you have pulled that trick before. <laughs> is this the right shade? Is that what you wanted? This is so old. <laughs> Good right, girl. Didi. We can do. We can do about it. I'll get you off. <laughs> yeah, I think you're in a position to be making threats today, Meg. Yeah. <laughs> that is nice. Thanks, Honey Bananies. Oh, you've got a little brown bit underneath your chin. That's nice. Hello. I? Oh, that's no, lovely. No, it's the pony. Oh, the pony. <laughs> I don't care about you. Oh, Didi says that's my lick. <laughs> I know, well that's what happens when you ride in the rain. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, not venting, baby. You don't want any cleaner ones. <laughs> These are fun. These go on the saddle. I'm going to have a last bit of white food. Oh my word, it is so windy. Really not feeling this, guys. Also, can you tell we are eventing again? Why food getting me through? I've done pretty well. I've only got about a quarter left. Quite impressive. If you guys want to try out Why food, whether you're going eventing or doing other sporting activities or just want to use them for your super busy days, if you're a bit of a breakfast skipper, these are amazing because they work as a little meal when you're too busy to actually eat anything. So you can just swig it and you'll get 26 vitamins and minerals and it will fill you up and they're really good when you're nervous. I feel like I'm just like rabbiting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, I will be talking more about nerves at some point, but because I've been working with Katie from Integrative Sports Coaching, I'll pop it up. We've discussed about how like, although it's really nice for me to share how I'm feeling with you guys like along the way, sometimes it's not the best thing for my kind of like mental, side of riding so 
I'm going to try today to be like really positive when I walk the course I'm not going to ow pick up fences that like I'm worried about um, and then we can have an honesty hour when we get back I'm going to help tack up because I don't know where the saddle is <laughs> do you put both the straps in these days um, not normally no no just the back one groom time It was really nice little leg massage. <laughs> Honey on the Y food as well. Absolutely. Nice, nice, nice. Fresh berry day today, guys. Discount code, Elphic YouTube. I don't think I said that. Teeny YouTube. No, it's definitely not Teeny YouTube. It's Elphic YouTube. And uh, there's going to be a link down below. You're going to want to click it. Get yourself a taster pack. Taste them flavours. It is so windy. We're legit going to get blown away today, Dee. Oh, who have you seen? What's she done? Oh, very excited to uh, take this one out. Thank you. Right, she's now your responsibility for a minute. Brilliant. Um, actually, no, all, all I was going to get was my gloves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted more time to run away from you, you've yeah, got gonna... hair all over you. Have I? Oh, tell you what I can do. Cameraman. Megan. No more sound, guys. that time of year again guys welcome back to the eventing voiceovers so i purposely started this voiceover a little bit late just so you could have Didi's Dee input there i thought it was really nice <laughs> um yeah i just wanted to leave that in to show you guys that we did have a fair bit of calling throughout this test d was incredibly excited to be back out of it again which realistically I can't complain about because it's nice <laughs> when they're excited but you can see there that was another whinnying moment it did just distract her ever so slightly however i thought she was coming more above the bridle than she actually was like just then it wasn't particularly awful and i think it also it made me feel like it was going worse than it was it's a little bit choppy it's a little bit tense but it's not actually too bad that canter transition she just did there was really nice and her canter i actually took hold of a little bit more i remember thinking as i was going around because she felt like a little bouncy ball of just 
pure fury um and i remember thinking like no like put your leg on like hold your hands keep on a contact and i was actually quite pleased with the canter work and i've just got to start getting brave enough to do that in the trot here i don't know if you spotted that little wobble guys i nearly went wrong in my test so this is actually one of the special cotswold cup tests which i absolutely loved firstly just doing a different test what i normally do out of venting but secondly, doing a 90 test that's just a little bit more interesting. Some of the BE ones are very much just like circle, change the rain circle. Um, whereas this had, you know, it had a little bit more room. We had some loops, we had those half circles with the straight lines. And yeah, I, I actually really enjoyed doing a different test. Um, but because I literally was very naughty and learnt it the day before, I um, had a momentary lapse there. But luckily, we didn't get wrong. So now we're on to the second canter. This is always Dee Dee's worst rain. She's a lot stiffer going around to the right. But again, actually looks a lot nicer than it felt. I think that's what I need to start learning with the dressage is often when it feels rubbish, it doesn't look nearly as bad. So yeah, I need to get a better feel for it. So the walk, the walk, again was just very tense i never get great marks with d in her walk because she's quite short she doesn't really overreach enough like she's got like short little steps because she's so excited so i believe i got a six or a 6.5 for this walk which i think is very generous from the judge i think that was that was nice of them because although we didn't jog we look like we're on the precipice of jogging quite a lot but she does help she does hold it together i'm quite quite pleased with her actually because she was very excited and the wind was absolutely hideous can't remember how much i've left in that was very tense and above the bridle but it's fine we can work on that here we were lucky that that's going away from the judge because that was very messy you can see her all over <laughs> the place she's dishing and everything um yeah she just couldn't wait she's like i know once i do this halt i get to go jumping you can look at my face. I was literally just laughing at her. Nice halt, though. Well done, Dee Dee. <laughs> Bless her little cotton socks. But I'm actually quite pleased with that, looking back at it. Do you want your mic? I like to say, do you want your mic back on? <laughs> Were you excited? She says, I'm. <laughs> Good girl. What did you think, Dee? What did you think? I thought it was brilliant. Was it good? She says yes. You were so clever, weren't you? You were so speedy. <laughs> so the reason we don't bring Dee and Jam together is to stop them calling to one another. But it turns out that Dee thinks she can call across counties. I think there were some very likeable parts. Really? What was that? Wait. <laughs> this, yeah, if they are looking for a beautifully efficient test, yeah, yeah. whereby it only takes two minutes so they get to go on their lunch break quicker. <laughs> if they were looking for some input from a Connemara, they also got that. Um, yeah. Do you know what, guys? We haven't come here for dressage, so it's fine. D, mate, we didn't bring you a friend. <laughs> she's so, like, what is she playing at? I don't know. I don't it's know. good. I, I think she's just excited. Like yeah. And it's very windy, to be it's fair. But she's not generally a cooly pony, is she? Uh, I don't know. I beg to differ. Oh. I beg to differ. Plus, it is season time. Anyway, guys, can we have your score predictions, please? Score predictions? Oh, gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to go for... He's going with a 25 people. I'm gonna go. 8.5. I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna be optimistic and go for 29.8. Oh wow! Peter, do you have a uh, a score? 33. 33 from Peter there, guys. Oh, yeah. 33 as well. Sorry, it doesn't really work that well with the mics, does it? Han, have we got a score from you? Pardon? We got a score from yeah, you? Yeah, I said 33.5. 33.5. Gosh. <laughs> and of course, the 25 from D there. Right guys, well we've actually literally got half an hour until I show jump, so we're going to have the speediest change around and then we will see you down at show jumping, which is where I'm meant to be positive, so I'm going to say that is where it only goes up from here.
been going on course already from the start of this. Tell it so for more. Yeah, come on in, Deidre. Good news for this fellow. Okie dokie, I am back with another voiceover because my word, the wind noise is absolutely horrendous. Now, I just wanted to quickly say something before I go into show jumping and I promise I will leave you be. But in the show jumping warm up is when I had my first kind of real wobble. So you can see now I come round to this upright, I'm pulling, pulling, pulling and all that's going through my head is... This is the first time you've jumped on grass since you last fell and it was literally going over and over and over and every time I thought it I pulled to try and get that stride and yeah I just it's really weird guys I feel like I'm seeing that Victon fence and it's really frustrating so yeah I had that kind of moment of pulling myself together and I literally was, said to myself like look you don't have to do this if you don't do it um so then yeah we come round and D, bless her heart, she's been so good, um, but I just got a bit of a, not an awful stride, just a little bit close, the ground was a little bit sticky and we had it down, so I, I can't explain to you how in limbo I felt, I felt really weak, kind of like my limbs weren't working, so I jumped this, we obviously cleared it, it wasn't great, we got close, and then I was just like, I said to Pete, I'm going in, and I knew if I didn't go in at this point, I wasn't going to go in at all. But then we go into the Shooting Ring Arena, and I'll let you watch for yourselves. But I'm quite pleased with it. It was a it was a safe round. You can tell I'm nervous, but it could have been a lot worse. Thirty one is our next wave. Megan Elphick with Commons Delight. So good round, no penalties for Commons Delight. 27.3 is the dressage. Can I give you that a second? Cheers, Boo. Yay! Can I borrow it a second? What do you think the dressage is? I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Have a lady out! <laughs> you jammy bugger! <laughs> Honestly, they were looking for efficiency. <laughs> they were looking for full intent. They said, I like Connemaris. <laughs> oh my God, Clea, that was so stressful. You had a little wobble in there, didn't I had you? A, you that, I had a, a big wobble. Now. I was like, stop playing. Mate, I had the wobble of century. I was like, I'm <laughs> not doing it. Just went, I'm going in. Yeah, literally. Oh <laughs> That's why, I was like, if I, like a wobble, they jump one fence and just go in. If I stay here a minute longer, I'm not going to do it. Um, right, I can see Hobbit. We need to go and walk across country course. Dee Dee, you are freaking incredible <laughs> right peace out home rose <laughs> hi guys Welcome. it is time for the quickest walk of the, walk, walk, walk of the century heart's still working overtime a little bit guys so yeah let's put some more <laughs> number one nice inviting log fantastic i can jump that out of the trough if i need to and then on to fence two We've just worked out, I have 50 minutes until I'm going cross country and we've got to walk the walls and that. So it's going to be a very speedy one. We love a run around off church. Oh. There's people just filming random people. <laughs> Number four, the blue one. Number five, the first combination. Seven, A, B. Number eight, somebody say nine, one, one. That's just nine. Down the 
famous of Church Hill. Bob's just taking a little stroll in front of the camera there. Get on your girl, enjoy that cup of tea. Anyway, a massive thank you to Equireal for sending me my entire round for us to unpack. I do find this such a useful learning tool to watch back. So let's talk about this. First three fences, not too bad. I felt like I was getting into my stride. And then I just had a little bit of a spook there. A little bit left behind the movement. I committed to a long one. It's fine. D went. But you'll see... By the way I jumped that, it just rattled me a little bit. And I remember before coming to this fence, I said to myself, if you do not get a good stride over this, and if you can't commit to a decent stride for this horse, you are pulling up and retiring because you're not putting her through this. And it's it's those kind of like negative thoughts that are constantly in my head because watching that back, okay, those fences, those strides, sorry, weren't the prettiest, of course, but they weren't awful. And I do need to stop welling so much this whole time I was still thinking about whatever that was like fence five where I got her close and I just need to learn to let go and kind of ride in the moment a little bit more anyway that does start to happen a bit more here and I think you definitely see a noticeable difference especially to this fence this is probably my favorite fence on course um, because we come down that hill and she's nice and balanced and we literally just meet it in our stride that's kind of is what I strive for over every cross country fence, but it's obviously not always achievable. I also find with Didi, she does get a bit divey, which I find disconcerting. So I think sometimes I I make the situation worse because I don't like the diviness. So you can see I'm pulling a lot. She was very strong and excited. But yeah, big thank you to Equireal, and I think that was a very much improved round. So I'm pleased. How did that feel? Happy? Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
how was it? It was fine. Yeah, it was just like very grabby. Oh god. Um, she got really like she got really good. Just keep her walking towards the end. Um, oh, hello. Uh, I haven't checked. I didn't feel one. I don't think so. Good girl. No, that's got it. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're all good. We're all good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. It was good. It was like we didn't have a very nice jump over one of no, them. No. No. Well, I had a big jump over one because I committed, and then I got scared for the next one, and we had a real scramble. But luckily, I was on D, not Jam. Yeah. Um, trouble is that she was so strong and keen, and I'm just so not ready to go for those long ones. Yeah. But like, we got it. We, it did get a lot better. Yeah. And it was the first round that like, was always going to be tough, wasn't it? Yeah. I just need to get it out of my system. Yeah. I'm a little bit of tea. Cheers. <laughs> I think I was clear. I didn't even have a chance to go over the course. I was so oh, rushed. You. So who knows if I missed a fence? Oh well, you know, it doesn't matter, does it? You've been out and done a Thank course. You. That's all that matters. Oh, it's Twenty-eight Right, guys. I've got a little something, something to show you. <laughs> this is crazy. Pete, are you glad to see that? <laughs> Girl. Second place, comments to like, Megan Elphick. 27.3 double clear. Wow, wee! Show your time. 404, so yeah, good time. Excellent, well done, darling. <laughs> That's mental. Well done, uh, oh, Right, I'm we're sorry. going to sort Dee out and then we'll properly oh, debrief gee. when my heart rate slowed down. Oh, Dee Dee! <laughs> Yeah. Only you could come out with the wobbliest of riders and just come second, <laughs> first event back. <laughs> she says, I'm taking my job seriously about yes. going to badminton this year. Oh, aren't you a clever girl? Oh, so clever on you. You deserve treats. Girl. Well done. Dee Dee says, you were blimmin' indecisive out there, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> you make your mind up. Are we going long? We're going short. Oh, you were strong. You were very keen. Very, very keen. Oh, thank you. <sighs> As if she came second. That's actually mental. I can't believe that. She is so good. I was crying for two of the three phases. <laughs> the show just said I thought you were going to retire. So did I, mate. <laughs> Here we go. I've never been so close to withdrawing with a pony that's jumping nicely. <laughs> You're so good. Thank you. Thanks for taking me round and just jumping everything, despite what I said before. You'd say sorry halfway round as well. I oh yeah, that would be when I clattered her into a fence. <laughs> Always got to apologise to the pony when you do something silly. Hey, Dee Dee. You were super keen to be out. Yes, you were. She's also fitter than we thought, I think. Oh, that's good. That's good, yeah. Dried, the heart rate's gone down, and we're going for pizza. The best bit. The bestest bit. We've got honey banana up there. Um, yeah, very very pleased. Pizza. What's in the menu today, and how he will rate it? Pizza. What has his life come to? Let's see. It's pizza. Guys, we're doing it in the lorry. Welcome, welcome. Pete was just setting up the camera. Oh. I already have regrets. Tell you what, it's really nice um, not having to film you do this because I can just crack on and eat my food. What are you going for, bacon? Just bacon, which I'm picking the fat off of because I'm really fussy. What did you... Oh. <laughs> Yeah. What'd you get? Yeah. Pete got an egg and a sausage. Yeah, not, bat. not too pleased with the choice. Really? Why? The men no, the menu is a bit. But anyway. 
I can't do nice close ups with this. I mean, no. To be fair, in their defence, you weren't very hungry. I hope you're a little bit. You got it for the sake of getting it. Mm. Oh, what was that? Get old. It was spicy, was it? No, it's just doing well. Oh. Oh, 30's on the horizon, isn't it? Isn't it just? Um, I don't know, 5'6". 5'6", very not average. Really it. Very I'm not average. It. I'd say it's a little bit cold, but then to be fair, we did just have like a million mile per hour winds blow through the bat. Oh, that's cold, it's not the air temperature's mm. cold. That's cold, okay. Yeah, this, yeah. No. I don't know, there's not much to say on it, unfortunately. Wow. No chips either. No, no chips. chips. Hand doesn't said there's no chips. So. God, what a sad pizza eats. Well, guys, that's that. <laughs> Ta da! Guys, look at the look size. Look what Didi got. <laughs> <laughs> look what Didi won. <laughs> look what Didi won for being an absolute legend. You're a good girl, aren't you? Right, Hobbs is here literally just <laughs> just Devouring. to be in the picture. He's just not even concentrating at all. <laughs> but a very successful ending to the day. Second place. Quite a few tears, Lots a lot of, of nerves, a very high heart rate. Scarily high, <laughs> actually. But a really positive end. Very, very pleased. I think I just needed to get it out of my system, yeah. like actually going cross country. It was always going to be messy. You have told them that this is the first time you've jumped on grass. First time I've jumped on grass is Bicton. Like, even showed them, and this is the first time you have jumped. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Really wouldn't recommend this. I do want to point out, guys, this isn't just us being lazy and being like, wow, whatever. Um, it's been A, been incredibly busy, and B, the time of like when we wanted to actually start getting out we had all that snow and it was just impossible like the ground was really covered in snow so yeah it wasn't <laughs> planned to be like this we were meant to go cross country schooling with lucinda which would have been fantastic but you know d says i remember it all it's fine. she says i don't need to do any of that <laughs> he says don't you worry i've banked it up here i know exactly what to do when we're <laughs> Mum's crying the fence. <laughs> yeah. I just no, ignore mum. I'll sort it out. Ignore mum and just go around. We're not doing roly polies. Exactly. <laughs> and a massive, massive thank you to the Cotswold Cup for putting on a beautiful event, but also Lands Eventing who are like running it on behalf of them because the ground is fantastic, really beautiful, lovely event, really nice course. They put so much effort in. They helped me out when I fudged my entries. <laughs> Everyone's a legend. Thank you. Cotswold Cup and Lands Eventing. We're very much excited to go to the next one. We're off to Waverton House, which is the next Cotswold Cup event. So I can't wait. We're part of the series now. We'll have gotten points today, Dee Dee. Do you want to go to the champs? She says, yes. not if you're going to ride like you did today. <laughs> There's only so much brain power. Right, guys, I live, laugh, love you. We've lost Hobbit. We'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>